I think ideally at some point, I'd, I'd love to see the federal government reschedule marijuana as a, as a Schedule II drug as opposed to a Schedule I drug. That would open it up for more research. And um, ultimately, I, what I would like to see is people be able to treat this just like any other medication. Doctors be able to prescribe it just like any other medication. People to uh, be able to go into John Forbes' pharmacy and buy it just like any other medication. And uh, that I hope we can get to at some point. Um, but the federal government hasn't acted. And we hear a clear outcry from our own constituents who want access to this for the different conditions that they themselves or their family members have. And at the end of the day, it, it, we have to be responsive to our constituents. And that's what we've done with the law that we have on the books now. Well, some states allow uh, recommendations. They just allow that to physicians to make that determination what's best for the patient. Uh, our bill that's in the House now has about 10 different medical conditions from cancer to ALS. Uh, one of the things we did in the House version that was sent over to the Senate is we did recognize that people that have terminal Ill illnesses and want to use can cannabis products, we did take that cap off and allowed them to use higher dosages and more milligrams to be able to treat their pain at, on end of life type of symptoms. So we are hopeful that that will allow people who are terminally ill to access the product and use it more efficiently.